Welcome to Is It Fast and welcome to go-karting around the streets of Kyoto. You might have heard that there is a small competition going on in Japan at the moment called the Rugby World Cup. And while I will admit that I am here pretty much for that competition, you also want to get a little bit of touristy sightseeing in. And uh, I don't think there's a better way than jumping into what is a road legal go-kart and having a look at some of the ancient sites in Japan. And in this case, we are looking at one of Japan's most cultural cities. We are doing a tour of Kyoto. <laughs> First stop on our karting tour here at Arishi Ayama. I apologize for the pronunciation, I am not a native Japanese speaker. But this is the, uh, according to the guides, the second most touristy part of Kyoto because you've got a monkey park, you've got bamboo groves, um, but most importantly, it's just a really gorgeous place to be outside of the city itself and surrounded by these beautiful wooded hills. Now that we're stationary, let me just show you around the cart. Fairly simple setup. Horn, indicators, emergency lights, a button that I don't know what it does. And then underneath, we have got the ignition switch, just about there somewhere. 50cc engine, and most importantly, it looks like a race car. I mean, it's quite surreal being on a go-kart in the street <laughs> with our tour guide loving every minute of it. I mean, loving every minute of it. <laughs> it's also baking up so warm. go-karting tour of Kyoto is this Haiyan Shingu Shrine. While we're here, let me tell you a little bit about Kyoto, the very little that I know. So it is one of the oldest cities in Japan, founded in the 700s, I think 754, could be wrong, probably am, and uh, is the cultural center of Japan. In fact, it was the capital of Japan until the 1800s when Tokyo uh, took over in about 1860 something. But Kyoto is a cultural hub and is gorgeous and uh, yeah well worth renting one of these carts and flying around with your tour guide because you get to drive around the streets and you get to stop at places like that plus let's be honest you get to drive one of the coolest little things available on the road a go-kart that is road legal <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that's it. That concludes my go-karting tour of Kyoto. I'm gonna name drop Street Kart Kyoto because these guys are absolutely awesome. Tour guides are incredible. The whole experience is just next level. <sighs> What an experience, you've got to do it. If you are between games at the Rugby World Cup, this is an incredible way to see the cities and just have a whale of a time. So the tour has made its first stop. We had a, where is it called? Arishi, Arashiyama. So we've made our first stop at Arashiyama, which is this beautiful out of Kyoto. Uh, what is it? 